So I'm not a conspiracy theorist by any means. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't know what happened. All I know is that this black man is dead. And if I was a conspiracy theorist, which I'm not, it seems to me like there was a lot of information that an ACLU lawyer with their millions of dollars in backing and their qualified attorneys would have dug up about this case that the public pretender, I mean public defender, may have overlooked. I find it mighty convenient that this man had a conversation with his wife on this federal phone, on this federal penal institution telephone saying, I'm getting a new lawyer. The ACLU has agreed to represent you. Your paperwork will be there by Wednesday or Thursday. I find it mighty suspicious that he went into an unconscious coma the next day and he had bruising on his hand. What causes bruising? What causes bruising? I mean, if you, your hand, you got bleeding from both sides of your brain and you got bruising on your hand. I wonder what could have caused that bruising. I don't know. You tell me. Why was this man given two shots of some substance in the morning and two shots in the evening? What's the emergency? Why is it that he's all of a sudden diagnosed with diabetes and didn't have any issues before that? At least not diabetes. I mean, he's 68 years old. Don't have a lot of issues. But all of a sudden, though, I find it interesting.